Alrighty. Hello everyone. It is Dan Jones, the mesh man again. And I'm deciding to do another live sometime earlier than expected. Just because I like the uh, response that I got. And I figure better now than to wait till Sunday trying to, you know, end of the week feel like I'm rushing. So, yeah, here we are. So let me just find my spot. And... Here we go. So yeah, um, I decided that I'm going to work on this wreath here. All right. And I'm gonna use this for the theme. Um, I just like the colors and the beach. And I think this will be a nice one before I start working more on like fall things. It just seems like a good idea. And I want to start there. So for my base, I'm going to use this uh, white mesh with a little bit of sparkle in it. Hopefully it'll help make this look more full and everything instead of the thinner, uh, cheaper route. I'm also going to use this. Let's see. Oh, I've got two people. Hello, everyone. How you doing? I'm gonna use this to go on top of the white to help go with the lettering. All right. And what do you guys think? Just wanna kinda of get your opinion. Should I use this with this to help kinda of make this pop a little bit when I put this on top or should I just leave it this color with whatever bows I decide to do. Not really sure. Um, I might just do the base. If I get to that point and you know I'm good where I'm at, I'll either stop there or I keep going, just depends on where I end up at. Another thing I may try to do is use these two bows and work on a technique that I just saw the other day. I believe it's called a Helen bow. And it's basically just an easier way of uh, the process of making a bow because all the ones I've seen seem a little more intricate to me than I would like to deal with. So the Helen bow process was just a little simpler take on it. So we're going to try that out if time permits because either we're going to end it when I'm done, we're going to end it when the phone is done. But either way, when it's time to wrap up, I'll let you guys know. And until then, let's just get things started. All right. So, hey Caroline, how you doing? Maria, I'm glad you guys can make it. That is awesome. Um, in case anyone's wondering, I am from the Missouri area, St. Louis. Um, you know, just give a shout out to where you're from. Make things a little bit more interesting. I also want to say hi to all the Damonites out there, to anyone who watched my previous video. I love that kind of encouragement. It makes me feel good, inspires me to keep moving forward. Um, and yeah, so, awesome. So, yeah. And yes, again, I am a novice at this. So, if you see me do something and you're like, oh, that doesn't seem right, or, you know, this might help me out a little bit more. Feel free to, you know, throw something in the comments. I'm trying to keep watch on it. Um, yeah, multitasking is one thing that I need to learn how to do better. So, uh, yeah, any advice is good advice. And I'm willing to learn because I'm growing in this just like any other newbie. All right, so, got this in there. All right this okay so let's go for 10 inch poofs all right sweet mm -hmm -hmm. hello judy how you doing this evening i 
Oh yeah, well, one thing I found really surprising is that, um, you know, when you tie up your pipe cleaners, like when I first started watching people, I was really hesitant to like pull too tight on them. I'm always holding back. I'm always thinking I'm gonna break something. Not that I'm Hercules, but I just have that mindset. And when I start paying more attention, like, yeah, you guys are really tightening up these things. And it probably helps with the poofiness and everything else in the process. So yeah, I'm learning to let loose a little bit more and get a little bit tighter with it. All right. What else, what else? Anybody do anything exciting today? Man, is it hot. It is hot out there. I think it's roughly, well, feels like 105. A lot of heat advisories for this weekend. I think through Monday. So please be careful. Stay liquid. And look out for your friends and neighbors. And make sure they're Either staying cool or staying hydrated. All right. And what else do we have? Oh, yeah. So uh, the last video I did on Thursday is in the 300s as far as views. And I'm not a pro when it comes to doing these lives and I don't know if that number is great, good, in between, awful, whatever, but yeah, it's a really awesome feeling to have people uh, watch me, leave comments, the likes, same goes for anyone who's um, in this live now, you know, leave your comments, uh, like it, love it, share it, everything you can and in between. Encouragement is always the best sentiment. <laughs> Let's see. Um, and then every video that I watch, um, they always say, you know, if you have 10 at the bottom, then have eight at the top, you've got eight at the bottom, then have six at the top, so on and so on. But every time I tried to measure it out with the techniques they were using, um, yeah, I always ended up with odd numbers. So I think I'm at nine and seven for this one. Not sure why that is. Hopefully everything is still good in the end. All right. And uh, so anybody who's part of a Damon slash Deco exchange community, you know, he had his um, what do you call that? His um, uh, I can't think of the word, but anyway, he went out with other reef makers and they had a get together he's been posting pictures and everything and it really looks like a lot of fun it just seemed like a bunch of friends getting together sharing techniques sharing ideas and just having a good old time there's the little things in life that help it get by nothing too big and extravagant just hanging out and catching up all right. Where are we? Hmm. Oops. All right, trying to poof this baby out. What we got? 30. All right. What size poof are you doing? I am doing uh, 10 inches. Yes. Too big, too small, or just wondering? I 
Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Where are we at here? Mm, four, all right. So the tablet that I'm looking on right here is behind the actual live feed. So if you're asking me a question, I'm not answering it right away. That's why. Also, again, multitasking, trying to get better at it. But yeah, it's a couple of sec. Yeah, like I'm literally just now talking about what I just said. So yeah, roughly 10, 15 seconds behind live feed. All right, all right. So, so I think for the most part, where are we at? Anybody watching this, uh, do you know if there's a difference if you start from the top going down or down to the top or bottom to the top? Because when I was watching the, the examples of this, they're going from top to bottom, but I just instinctively started from bottom to top, so don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. Alrighty. Let me know. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions or you know just anything I think of this less as like a tutorial and more of a um, basically I'm just sitting at some table somewhere making a reef and you decide to sit down next to me and have a conversation so yeah just whatever you would like to know go ahead and ask and if I can answer it I will Oh, yeah, that's another thing. So since Thursday, which is, yeah, that really got me pumped. Like, I couldn't even sleep. I feel kind of whatever saying that, being 36. But, yeah, I got so excited and it was so cool to have so many people watching it. Because, of course, when I'm doing the live, there's only like, I don't know, two or three people on there. So I was like, yeah, you know, whatever, first time. No biggie. I'm just out there to to do it, you know, to get more social. And the rewatches like just kept going and going and going and that was awesome. Like really, really awesome. So of course the first thing I do the next morning after not getting that much sleep was like, man, how can I improve on this to make it more enjoyable for people watching? So I got a mic coming from the phone so you can hear me better because I realized there was like an echo sound and I'm hoping this uh, either get rid of it or make it less obvious than it was before um and then here we go i also got a stand for my phone uh, before i was using this i don't know it was a it was a phone stand but it was it's like a long wire with a clip on the end two clips on the ends one for your table or whatever you uh brace it on and then the part that you hold the phone on but obviously because it was on this long wire like whatever it wasn't too like steady so which i'm kind of impressed because on the video it isn't really that jarring um but yeah i got my stand right there nice and professional looking got my phone in place got the mic even got a little um what you call it, like zoom focus um clip on to help make the picture wider so again this is more for you guys than for me because if i'm trying to do something i want to do it right hey honey how's it going becky's my wife anybody who doesn't know uh, let's see 14 so yeah um so yesterday I just spent most of the, not most of the day, but like most of the morning, uh, just driving around, trying to get the right kind of tools to 
make this experience just a little bit better for everybody. And besides, if you get professional stuff and treat it more professionally, you start feeling more professional. And if you feel more professional, you act just a... Can you work closer to the mister? Oh, does this help? Where are we at? Oh, that's why I was pushing away because I'm trying to stretch this out. My mistake. Yeah, I'll bring it closer when I, as I'm tying it up. Thank you, Becky. Okay. All right, let's see. So that four people we got Becky, Judy, Maria, and Caroline. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. All righty. Now, can I just get a yes or a thumbs up or a heart or just a comment to anybody who's watching this who's been doing one that's been doing Reese and two that's been doing it longer than I don't know five years if you want to share how long you've been doing it that'd be awesome too let's see 21 31 okay What else? 16, 6. Okay. I am what you would call an overthinker. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because whenever I think about having to do stuff like this, I make it bigger than it actually is, so it actually makes me not want to do it. But then when I actually start doing it, I like get into it. I really enjoy it. It's like my brain makes every little thing into a chore because I overthink instead of just jumping into it and doing it. Now that attitude has helped me a lot. Good, good. Um, with the big important things, but you know, if you're going out for a glass of or going to get a drink of water or going to a restaurant to eat something, you know, you shouldn't take 50 years to come up with an idea because you're just overthinking it. You know what I mean? Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that a lot. Okay, where am I at? So, um... Oh, okay, so, yeah, we'll just do 10 and end it here. Let's bring this back over. And... Okay. Um, yeah. So let's take this. So, this is one of the things that I bought the other day, ergonomic scissors. And um, I don't have arthritis, but when I grip things a certain way, my muscles in my hand get really tight. So I figured if this can ease that, why not? I think it's an awesome buy. Got it from Walmart, somewhere between 10 and 15 bucks, I think. Um, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this off. Da, da, da. Oh, you know what? Let's actually use the tool I'm supposed to use. Just a little like I know what I'm doing. Uh, I think. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Alrighty. You know what? I'm just going to tuck this back in there. Why? Because I can. Alright. <laughs> So, now this is a problem as a novice that I run into, um, and you know, just help me out here, because as I'm looking at this, you know, obviously I can still see through the mesh, I can see holes in this, or gaps in this, not holes. Um, that just means about crappy material if there's holes in it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I know it's fluffing. One of the things I need to do, um, do I need to do another layer of mesh? Do I need to start adding my um, ribbon? So, Speak now or forever. Well, no, just speak now. <laughs> like I said, all advice is good advice. Poof your poofs out. Okay. Am I doing this right? Correctly? Thank you, Judy. Poofing my poofs out. Roger. your 10 inch mesh okay so I'll poof those out or poof these out and then I will add my mesh oh and yes or no do you ladies think I should add this with this or just have this just to give it a little bit more you know variety Oh, okay, cool. Man, you're on top of the Judy. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and start uh, cutting this. Uh, let's see, am I in reach? Uh, the right tools, right? Okay. Loving all your comments, questions. Thank you, Maria. Okay. So we are going to do 10 inch. Hopefully I got enough of this one, but hey, it's a journey, right? Uh. Put you right here, put you over here. All right, oh wait, I'm gonna need you. All right, all right. And it is way more productive to stand up and do this for anyone who may be either watching or going to be watching this in the future. Sitting down and doing this versus standing up. You may be a little bit more comfortable sitting down, but having this angle, having this control as you're standing, 10 billion times better. Okay, so I'm going to do 10. Ooh. 
10 ish. Uh, okay. I hear you loud and clear, Judy. Thank you for clarifying that. Let's see. 10, 20. Oh, you know what? How many of these do I need? So I got 9, 7, 16. Uh, 16. <laughs> okay. So 2 down, 14 to go. Again, overthinking it. I'm sure to a lot of you guys doing this stuff is just like, all right, time to cut it, cut, cut, cut. But I got to think ahead and go, wait, I got to cut 16 of these things. I wish I was in a movie where I can just hit fast forward on my tablet and I'm already done with this. Oh, you know how when they record it and you're watching the recording, they kind of like cut it off. They're like, I don't want to put you through this. So I'll just stop and then bring you guys back when I'm done like yeah I wish I could do that and just have them all just stacked right here for you okay so oops yuck come on Uh, again I'm trying to focus on this don't want you guys to just sit there and watch me do this so give me something to and again this is for you not for me <laughs> um, anybody have any questions any um, advice how many of you oh that's a good question how many of you that are watching have done a live yourself and how many have you done so far oh, that's a good one okay I think this is so cool. I don't know the fact that I'm doing this live. It's funny how when you're doing something by yourself, it just feels like a daily task. Oh, that's right. I remember you saying that, Judy. Um, how long have you been in business? Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Wait, what was that number again? Nine, sixteen, eight. So I got another eight to do. Yep, math whiz right here. Wow, that is awesome. Ooh, I don't know if this blue is going to last. Well, like I said. 
Mason and Venture, congratulations Judy on doing this for 10 years. Um, as long as you're enjoying it, I would say uh, you hit the jackpot doing something you're good at, making money doing it. It's pretty much the two biggest things. Okay, let's see, so... So, in case anybody's interested in my last video, I talked about a book I was reading. This is a, someone's used book, so excuse the dirtiness. But the E-Myth revised. Apparently this book was written several decades ago, and then they revised it for more um, tips. So, like I said, it talks about small businesses uh, succeeding why some fail and how to avoid that and it's a real good pickup for people either already in the business or thinking about starting one all right All right, so we are at ten. You know how awesome it'd be if this dark blue makes it to the end. It's almost like it was meant to be. Okay, so where are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need four more. I need this blue to last four more. You guys think it'll make it? Ugh, like seriously. This is, yeah, it's on his last leg, so. Four more. And I'm sure the professional well actually I'm not sure but if I had to guess I would say the professional way to deal with this would be to double up on this and then all the ones that I have with this make sure those are the ones that show because I'm going to put a sign on here anyway so I can use the double up ones underneath the sign somewhere that way nobody even know and if they do notice then whatever it'll still be full and awesome so Shouldn't be too much. And then even it out, of course. Even, even. Okay. Uh, I made it to the 20. Uh, okay. So, where are we at? Well, like right at. So, I said I have four more. This is going to give me two plus a couple of inches. So, you know, let's. Give it up for the blue. Last as long as it did. Uh, okay. So. Oops. Okay. Okay, so. Because there's a couple of inches more I'm just gonna make this one a little extra bigger and make that a bigger bow um, not bow a bigger 
Wait, is it a bow? Let's see what Judy called it. Judy called it. Mm. Ruffles, there you go, ruffles. I'm just gonna have a bigger ruffle <laughs> for this one. Yeah. Ugh. Again, uh, thanks everybody for being here, for sticking around, for joining. I definitely appreciate it. Um, oh, wow. I'm in a half an hour with this. Well, a little over a half an hour. I didn't think I could last that long. Um, yeah, honestly, once I finished my uh, base, I was like, yeah, that's it. I'll finish. You know, that'll be the end of it. I'll just end the live there. Um, that should be good enough. But no, I want to keep going. Okay, so we don't want all of this, so let's just cut it right where it starts getting off. Fringed and okay, cool. So, yeah, this isn't worth keeping. Okay, so see, this is why I overthink because when it comes to stuff like this, I completely blank out and I gotta keep recounting it. One, two, three. You know what? No. I said I need a four. I got two. So I got two more to do. Which technically I got four more to do with this. So let's make some room. Uh, 10, 20, 30. I'm actually a painter. Oh, well, welcome to the club, Maria. I'm sure you're decades ahead of me because you do all the other kind of crafting so your mind and skill are already in that realm you just got to learn a couple of new techniques but yeah both of you ladies are awesome um and you have all my respect um, let's see so So because we're going to double these up, this, or these two, count as one. And two more. Two more. I forgot who I was watching, but they were like, yeah, whenever you're doing one of these shows, make sure you got your tools, your mat, your equipment, and water. And I didn't really get it until now, because I am thirsty. And I grabbed the water earlier, but I left it over here. Uh, got it. And all right. Last two ladies. Unless some guys join in, if they did, excuse me. Yes, ruffles. I kept 
calling everything either a bow or a tie or whatever. So. this right just see which one looks better on top makes more sense yeah and I mean why not ask the audience again so should I alternate between these two or should I just leave one as the main one on top I feel like just saying it out loud I just feel like I need to alternate but we'll start with this one Okay, so start right here. Tight and there. <laughs> Team alternate. All right. This is a big one. Where do I want this baby to go? I'll save you for close to the end. Uh, oh, as a matter of fact, okay, so I use these for the inside ones. I'll actually do that right now so I don't forget. Oh, and just a shout out to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day weekend. Um, yeah, went out to dinner with my father this past Friday, yesterday, and tomorrow uh, I'm going to see my father-in-law and have dinner with my wife's family. Um, I am not yet a father, but I can appreciate the hard work that goes into being a good one. Okay, so inside, inside, inside. Let's throw it over here. Tight. All right. Um, Chanel stems is that a question or a statement as in are these Chanel stems I guess I call them pipe cleaners but uh, yeah and again this whole learning process that's another thing that I'm trying to so yeah these are Chanel stems, but yeah, like I said, I call them pipe cleaners. And oh, okay. Conversations within conversations. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Duh. See, this is why multitasking is such a art. I would have caught on to that instead of trying to. Answer a question that wasn't even posed to me. All right, so. Oh yeah, that was another thing I wanted to talk about. The social media. Yeah, so again, after Thursday, got really excited, pumped up. 
got some equipment to help make this a little bit uh, better for everyone. But I also oh, good to know. Thanks, Judy. <laughs> um, oh, but I also decided to pump up my social media. So everything that I've been a part of uh, Pinterest, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and I already did it for Facebook, but I switched those all over. I wasn't even using Instagram and Twitter. I basically just signed up for those to try to win some contest. But um, I ended up taking all those, reverting it, and changing them for the Mesh Man. And now I got them all focused on pumping that up, pumping me up, and pumping this up. Um, and yeah, it's, it's cool. And I know there's... 60 year old girls out there who can probably do it without even thinking twice about it but yeah there's a lot of work into keeping your social media active and posting stuff and making sure that's relevant or somehow you connect it back to your facebook slash etsy so uh it's just a learning experience and it's really cool just seeing all the different aspects speaking of which oh and youtube Speaking of which, if you look on my about page, on my Facebook, uh, it has all the links to those sites. Oh, sweet. All right. Thanks, Judy. I definitely would check that out. I'm always interested in two uh, tutorials. And uh, yeah, if he's close, maybe I can even meet up with them and get well you know depending on how easy that would be and get a little bit more knowledge from them okay One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, okay. Let's do the other double one before I forget about it. Design was got. Do I remember that? But I can always come back to this if I forget. Thanks for the info. I appreciate it. Another thing I learned about this, well, some I already knew, but I'm just realizing it again. So I really need to like humble myself when it comes to this stuff. It's kind of funny uh, going to school, drawing my entire life, learning art. Artists literally have a talent that you need to show people, but they hate getting critiqued on it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got this awesome new piece that I need to show you, and please, please, let me know how you feel. When in reality, they're like, yeah, I did something I think is awesome, and you all need to think it's awesome too. Otherwise, you're going to hurt my feelings. Again, that's not all artists. I don't know every artist, but myself and a handful that I've seen, yeah, that's pretty much the way it is. You tell them something theirs isn't right, and they'll give you a hundred excuses of, no, 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 I meant to do that because of this and because of that. Sometimes they're being honest. Sometimes they're just trying to cover up. Okay. 
awesome uh, da, 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 da. convention thank you thank you that's the word I was looking for earlier in this when I was talking about Damon and uh, Deco Exchange he had a convention that he went to and he was posting pictures and everything and it looked like a lot of fun Duh. and I hate it when I can't think of a word appreciate it <laughs> um, where are we at in this? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Good to know, Maria. And that's another question I have. So I know I'm going to wait until once I'm done, but when I'm done and I'm going back through these, do I need to like like twit you know twist them or whatever so they're alternating kind of like that or do i just need to keep them like this and just kind of like you know puff them up as much eh, as much as possible believe how much I'm enjoying doing this thank you guys for sticking around um, oh yeah let's see what time it is man an hour that's great hasn't felt like an hour where's the other stem at oh I, wait oh here we go I'm gonna get stuck back there. Okay, okay. Da, 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 da. Yes, where is everybody from? Oh, okay, Judy. My sister's from um, Mesquite, Texas. Her and my nieces. And I actually went to school in Dallas for a year? Several months? No. A uh, yeah, close to a year. I went there at the Art Institute in Dallas. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Hey, all right, New York. Got East Coast and West Coast. And Midwest, all right, all three, sweet. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, with his convention being in October, there's definitely a possibility for us to go there. Oh, wait, is this the... No, this isn't the big one. Uh, I think I want to put the big one. Yeah, I wanted to put it on one of the corners. So I'll put that next. Good. There we go. Yeah, same here, Judy. Very humid, very hot. 
but at least you guys don't have to worry about winters, at least not on the same level that we do. Before you even say anything, Maria, I know that you guys got even worse than we do. But yeah. Um, yeah, that East Coast winter is no joke. Got floods and 20 inches of snow on one side of the continent and then forest fires and earthquakes on the other side. It's kind of insane. And then we get, we get tornadoes every decade, not earthquakes every decade, get tornadoes a lot, but thank God we never uh, dealt with one personally. Okay. Where am I at now? Okay. Oh, that's perfect, because that's why I ended it at. So I can cover it all up with a big old ruffle. It looks like it's going to be Okay, so I feel like I'm hiding this from you guys Let me switch up Okay, so I'm Yeah, this is going to be a huge one Yeah, I love YouTube. I love. I haven't seen as much on Twitter and Instagram, but Pinterest is an awesome place to look at Reese. But um, YouTube is the best for actually watching people do it and seeing how they do it. And you can pause and fast forward and back up as much as you want to until you get it. Okay, so that's that. Let's do this one. A big ruffle. Yeah, I guess conventions would be the next step. Oh, and I can even do like a live. Oops. Would you be in one of my lives, Judy, if I did it at the convention in October? I doubt it'd be this long, but you know, just a quick hi and wave and say who you are to the people. Hardworking mom, I have watched her, and you are correct. I like her too. That oh yes for me, you would be in one of my lives. That would be awesome. Uh, where are we at? Okay. You know what's weird? Uh, the old saying about the camera adds ten pounds. The camera also adds professionalism. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're taping yourself doing something. You look like you've been doing it for years. I mean, sure, it could be not the greatest looking, but the fact that you're doing it on camera for some reason gives it more weight. I've always felt that way. Even people streaming video games, it's like, that guy's going places. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to start doing the inside.
It's funny, um, being a part of uh, Damon's group, you know, he has these, this list of things to do to help get your name out there, to help grow your uh, following and um, your audience. And on his list, and he made it a contest, is to try to do two lives um, a week. And I was looking at this Sunday when he was doing the uh, live, just talking about it. And people were commenting on, oh, I did two lives this week. And I was looking at it, and I was like, man, that is no way going to be me. I don't think I can do one. And like here I am doing two within three days. So, man, he definitely knows what he's talking about. Or something, because I just feel like it's working. Okay, so let's do a blue. Okay. All right. Reese by Reese by Ju Judy. All right. I will check that out. Let's do. For anybody who is skipping around or just joining or you didn't catch it uh welcome dan jones aka the mesh man i am doing this beach theme wreath using these colors for the color scheme i had a darker blue thanks to some advice to help make this pop um uh, once this video is finished loading and I, you know, I'm able to download it, I'm going to put it on my YouTube. I'm also going to put it on my Pinterest and I'm going to give a shout out about it on my Instagram and Twitter. And you can go to my Facebook page to get the links for those. I think most of them are Mesh Man for You, number four, capital letter U. I'm going to try to stay on top of that. I'm still working. So. Oh, sorry. Okay. Reese by Judy. Yes, I will check that out. I know it's going to get to the point where people are going to start giving me stuff and websites and things to go to and I'm going to have to have a pad or something while I'm writing them all down because I really do appreciate all the help and support and like anything that can help me get better like I'm not going to waste it and just forget about it but I do have a bad memory so that's why I'm going to write it down but since Judy is one of the only three here right now and she's been helping me out so much in the last couple of days with her encouragement I'm definitely not going to forget about you so okay i will be checking out that site am i moving this okay so ba -ba 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 -ba. <sighs> yeah just seeing it grow and getting fuller and bigger Make me a proud parent. <laughs> okay. All right. Come all the way over there. I want to bring that back. Okay. Three more to go, everybody. And we are. That's double blue. Mm, I think I do another. I keep switching back and forth because it's like I want you guys to see the wreath but then I push it over there to do this and I want you guys to see me doing this don't want to make it seem like I'm over here by myself just whatever and ignoring you guys let's see whatever we have all right yes it's always interesting to look back and go, 
Did I picture myself doing this? And when I say looking back, I mean like a month. Saturday night, summertime, inside making wreaths. But I enjoy it. So, why not? Right? Why not? Let's throw this back on top. And like I said, overthink things. And um, in a bad way, just got to be honest here. I kind of psyched myself out. I was like, I don't want to do it. This is going to take forever. Ugh. But again, once I start doing it, like all my attention goes into it. I focus, and this becomes my number one goal that I'm striving for in the moment, which is why I went from just making this base and ending it to uh, adding my ruffles. I'm never going to get tired of that. I just learned a new phrase, ruffles, ruffles. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So, we are there to... Wait, did I make, no, that can't be right. I feel like I'm missing one somewhere. Got you, got you, got you. Okay. Got one. Hmm. And, bingo, here we go. Okay, so, let's do a blue. I just love you guys' comments, by the way. So, even if you think it's not important or not that big of a deal, you know, just throw something out there. I like reading and it's helping me to learn how to go back and forth. Like, let's do birthday months. Everybody watching, put down your, or comment your birthday month. Oops, man, come out right. Let's do that again. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, so. I know a part of this is to act like people are watching the replay. So, I'll say right now, I am probably going to stop here once I put this last ruffle on. Um, and then I'll just finish this later. But I will post the finished product. I will be putting it on my Etsy, so I'll link that in the description in the post. And for anybody who's watching now or watching the replay, um, yeah, so you can see the finished product. Because, yeah, I am definitely not finished. And I'm not going to stop with just this and putting the sign on and we're good. I'm also going to, which be part of my explanation as I'm wrapping up here just to let you guys in. Um... Oh, so since, so I saw this hat several months, well not several months ago, several weeks ago when I decided that I wanted to start doing this and um, I really wanted to do something with it and a lot of people were like, uh, you know, do like a scarecrow theme reef or something like that and I don't know why but I decided to just color it black with these pink highlights. Thank you, Judy. Um, Oh, with the pink. And I just think that's really awesome. I just love the way that pink just explodes off the black. And my idea was, and I'll get to this, you know, not to diverge too much. But my idea was just take some pink flowers um, and kind of stick them right here. Kind of like just a little, you know, so you got this flower coming out. 
with the black and with the pink and the pink flower matched the pink and um you know that's all i got right now so that's why i put that up there because i'm kind of uh, there we go maybe not but yeah that's where i'm at with that it's a main side project thing okay so da -da 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 -da. And where's that last? Last one is right here. And we have blue, blue. Kind of throw that up. So, do a dark blue on top. Oh, okay, sweet. We got some birthday shout outs. Uh, March for Judy. We got April for Becky. Alrighty. Anybody else? Any more birthday shout outs? Or oh, birthday month shout outs? I know what you're thinking. What's his birthday? What is his month? It's December. <laughs> I'm not going to play any games. I just wanted to read your guys' first. Okay. So, yes, alrighty, we are done with the ruffle part, okay, so, let's put that up a little bit more for you guys to see, you know what, I do like the way that came out, my poofs are poofy, my ruffles are Ruffle Lee Ruffle Ruffle Lee um, Excuse me, but like I said, I'm not just gonna stop there. I got these two that I'm gonna use for uh, Ribbons which is a technique that I'm still working on like I said, I was going to do a demo Using these because I didn't want to mess these up in the process um, But yeah um, I'm going to make bows out of these and place them, which that's always the interesting part. Let's see, where are we at? Okay, so, and you know what? You know, I'll just be, I don't know if I said it or not, but I got this from the dollar store not dollar general yeah the dollar store i believe and when i first got it or after i got it you know it's a cheaper store you know whatever no shame in going there to shop who cares get what you get but you know i saw that it was a little faded um some marks on it and stuff like that and part of me was like do i want to make a sign out of it but you know thinking about it it's cool you know if you go to the beach you're walking around if you found a sign like this on the beach or anything on the beach it would have wear on it. It would have like marks on it from the water, from the uh, ocean air, from the sand, from people discarding it. Like, so I like it. Taking something somewhat, you know, beat up, rustic looking, putting it with something new and shiny and new and shiny. And uh, yeah, I think those two uh, contradictions plus the colors matching and just help bring it together. Look at me sounding all crafty. <laughs> um, what else? So, can I even, yeah. Cause I was thinking about putting this on, but I need to take all the stickers off first. And I'm definitely not gonna put you guys through that cause that is definitely tedious. Um, thank you, Maria. I definitely appreciate that. Let's just get a little preview of what these rib ribbons look like. And again, if you have arthritis or any kind of hand issues and you like to cut or you do a lot of cutting, I suggest these. Um, 
uh, yeah, I'm a bad spokesman because I can't remember the name of these, but they're uh, Fiskars um, Easy Action. Okay, it's right there on the scissors. Easy Action. But yeah, this is an awesome grip and uh, couldn't pass it up. I do not have arthritis, just in case anybody's wondering. And I said this before, but um, my muscles in my hand get really tight when I hold things for too long or when I do things at a certain angle with them. So anything to help out that process. Look at this. Like I just, it's like I want to stop, but I don't want to stop. Um, that glue is great that you got. Oh, yeah. Um, it's all the way over there, so I can't grab it. But earlier today, um, my wife used this glue, and it's like in, it's like this, uh, it's like in a little clear bottle, and it's like super adhesive glue. Uh, it's basically like if you need to go one step above um, a glue stick. Oh, yeah. Why like, doesn't that look nice? I really do like that. Like, as a regular guy, I'm just thinking, like, um, you know, this is going to rip. This isn't very uh, hard or solid. Oh, thanks, honey. So, um, she just grabbed that glue for me that she wanted me to give a shout out to. I like this. Yeah, this is not what I was picturing, but it worked out in a good way. Because both of these seem really kind of fragile in appearance, but I know they'll, you know, they'll hold. This is good stuff. Um, is this lace? I guess just because it's wire mesh, it kind of, oh, wait, uh, it says it, or does it say it? Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it's very silky. Or are you talking about this one? By the way, they're awesome because I love the the texture, the look, and I think it'd just be a good match for this. Again, the in between, the sign and the actual ruffles that I have on here. Give you guys a closer look. Yeah, very fragile looking, very um, delicate. That's the word, very delicate looking. And as somebody who is not known for being delicate, I was afraid of using this at first, but sometimes it's more about the project and less about your own personal reservations. So hopefully I can do this right and it comes out looking really awesome because these are nice materials. And um, yeah. Yeah, because I can't even practice on those because it's not even the same, it's not even made out of the same thing. So it doesn't matter how that ends up, this is gonna be a different challenge altogether. Um, oh, so. This is what my wife used earlier. I bought this, I haven't used it yet, but Rapid Fuse, uh, like I said, it's one step above. Actually, it's more like three or five steps above glue sticks. Like if you talking about Ju Judy um, in Texas, the hot heat, if you have uh, something that you want to put outside or something for outside and you don't think it can handle the heat, you'll want to use this stuff. Um, yeah, all purpose adhesive bonds virtually everything. Okay, so. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Okay. So, yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna cut it here. Um, appreciate it, you guys coming out. Appreciate anybody who's watching this. Again, comment, like, share. Um, also, go to my page. All the links are there for Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. 
Uh, like the only videos I have up on YouTube or any ones that I'm doing here. But I'm trying to build that up to help direct people back here, to direct them back to my Etsy. And um, yeah, so once I finish this off, uh, I will be posting it, the pictures, putting it up on Etsy and um, letting you guys know about it first thing. Uh, alrighty, um, until next time, which will be next week. Um, thank you and we'll see you again soon.